Hello, and welcome to Fancy Cooking. Today, I will be assisted by a boy named Sue, Chef. I like waffle mix. And by assisted, I mean that I will be ignoring him entirely. The mother may chime in from time to time, but I will not be acknowledging it. Today, we will be making fancy waffles. Preliminary step one, have waffle mix. Preliminary step two, acquire a waffle iron. First, you need the waffle mix from earlier. If you have already lost it at this point, f you. What if they didn't lose their mix and they just end up eating it all before they put any kind of mixture in there? If you still have your waffle mix, it is time to get a bowl. Late preliminary step three. Wash your f***ing utensils. Now would be a good time to plug in the waffle maker. Now it is time to actually make some other f***ing waffles. Step one. Remove the waffle mix from the waffle box. Step two, drop that shit in the bowl. Step three, put half a cup of waffle mix into the bowl. Step four, repeat step three two more times. If this shit confuses you, you should quit now before you hurt yourself. I love filling my bowls with white powder. Step five, get one cup of water. If you get more than one cup, you have f***ed up. Step six, dump the water into the bowl. Water makes your powder wet. Step seven, get a whisk. It is the poor man's version of Sir mix -a -Lot. Step eight, start mixing, mother Step nine, get Continue mixing the waffle batter until that shit is kind of runny. Step 10, get a measuring cup. Why? The reason we use a measuring cup is so we do not f up. I advise you to do the same. Okay. Step 11, pour three quarters of a cup of the waffle batter into the measuring cup. If you are unsure of how much three quarters of a cup of waffle batter is, the measuring cup will tell you, mother f***er. Step 12. Make sure to properly lubricate the inside of the waffle maker for easy waffle removal later. Lubrication is the key to making any good meal go down smoothly. Step 13. Pour the batter into the center of the waffle maker so as to spread the batter out across the waffle maker evenly. If you f*** this step up, your waffles will come out looking like that guy from that movie where the kids look for treasure in the cave. Step 14. Wait for the batter to go through metamorphosis, and when the green light comes on, a newly born waffle will emerge from the waffle maker. Newborn waffles are a rare delicacy. No, they are not. Step 15. Remove the waffle from the waffle maker. Step 16. Because a waffle without syrup will make the gods weep, get some syrup, mother and appease the gods. Step 17. Apply the syrup. Congratulations, you have just made some f***ing waffles. Hopefully they do not kill you.